Hi and welcome to my uh, poster presentation. Happy to meet you on the other side of uh, the screen. Uh, if you have any questions, because of course, unfortunately, we can't talk to each other, please just send me an email. There's an email address on the bottom here, ilka.maschmeyer at tissues.com. If Maschmeyer is too complicated, uh, just send me an email. It's very German, I know. Uh, just send me an email to info at tissues.com and I'll make sure that it also reaches me. Okay, let's just go through the different... Um, Figures together. At Tissues, we've developed 16 single organ models on a chip. Um, these include lung and kidney and pancreatic islets, but also bone marrow, testes, and thyroid models. Um, also, we have combined nine multi organ models. These include uh, intestine, liver, liver, uh, pancreatic islets, liver, skin, but also skin and um, lung tumor, or our four organ chip combinations. Um, together, we have more than 21 context of use assays. On the right side, you can see this is our Umimix starter. This can connect up to eight um, chips. And here you can see the chips. So we have the Umimix chip 2, which connects up to two organs. We have the Umimix chip 3, which can connect up to three organs. And we can also um, add a breathable lift, for example, for skin or uh, lung models. This might be interesting. Uh, and then we have the Umimic chip 4 and you can already guess this can connect up to four organs and it also has a secretory circuit, um, a second circuit for excretory uh, media or excretory products. Um, and then we have the Umimic XX which can connect up to 10 organs. Uh, here just some examples of tissues that have been integrated into our chip system. We've developed our chip in a way uh, for plug and play for cell culture inserts. This means that we actually are able to integrate, for example, commercial models like the epi-intestinal model of Matec or the Mucil Air um, from Epitelix, but also we can integrate our own models um, like here, the skin model or biopsies like here. On the other hand, we can uh, integrate, for example, um, ceramic scaffold as seen here in our bone marrow, bone marrow model. Um, we can also integrate spheroids like in, um, in the liver. We usually combine at least diff two different cell types for the liver models. For the pancreatic islets, we actually use or work a lot with the um, in sphero um, models, which connect um, alpha, beta and delta cells. For our thyroid model, we um, work with primary tissues where we isolate the follicles, integrate them into a gel, and then integrate them into a chip. And of course, we can cover all channels with endothelial cells. Uh, what does an assay at tissues look like? We, Like I just mentioned, we can work with cell lines, we can use with uh, primary cells, iPS-derived cells, but we can also work with commercial models, biopsies, or tissue slices. We add these into our chip. Uh, then um, start our culture of up to 28 days. So usually these are 7 to 28 days. We can do safety or efficacy testing and repeated dose exposure regimen. Um, in between, we can do in-process controls. So for example, we can do daily blood surrogate analysis. We can look at metabolism, for example, glucose or lactate. We can look at viability, for example, LDH and others. And at the same time, we can do non-invasive in-process controls like cell morphology, molecular imaging, because of course, the chip is completely microscopable. We, um, at the end of the culture, we can remove the tissue, we can look at histology, we can do qPCR analysis, we can do metabolite analysis, we can look at omics, um, but we can also do RNA sequencing, for example, on microarrays. Um, we've also launched the Umimic Autolab last year. So um, this is an automate which can actually culture 24 chips, so 48 replicates at the same time. It's um, a small automated research lab with a high precision three axial um, positioning system. And um, it is fully, fully automatic operation and can um, culture the chips for up to four days. This includes supply with nutrient solu solutions, application of substances, apically, topically, or intravenously, and storage of samples, substances, and media. Um, this is in a, a safety cabinet, it um, has an automatic heat in, heating integrated and um, also a bright field and fluorescence microscope. 
and we actually aim for high throughput drug validation and Torbert regulatory acceptance with our chips. Um, just to give you an example of how important it is to combine different organ models with each other, um, we here's an example where we combined um, liver spheroids with um, pancreatic islets, and we cultured these for 15 days. And um, if we look at the glucose consumption, we can see that in single culture, either um, liver or islet, we have a very little glucose consumption, while if these two tissues are in co-culture, we actually see that after 24 hours, we actually reach a, um, a, a area which is physiological. And if we culture this for longer, we can see that it actually stays in this area. And um, this is important to see that there's actually difference, and this is a significant difference for um, single culture compared to co-culture. And the same thing we can actually see for insulin production. If we have the islets alone, they produce and produce and produce insulin, whilst if they are in co-culture and in crosstalk with the liver, they actually stop to produce um, insulin at after eight, approximately eight hours, and it stays about constant after that time. And you can see that this insulin production actually also is significantly reduced in co-culture. So this is just an example to show you how the cells actually interact with each other, how they crosstalk, and how important it is to not only have one culture and maybe only a medium for um, um, yeah. Um, going through the tissue, but in a circulatory system where the cells are actually allowed to talk to each other. And with this, I would like to uh, end my presentation. I'm happy that you stayed there until the end. So again, if you have any questions, just contact me. And I hope next time uh, it will be face-to-face uh, -face again. And um, I hope you just enjoy the rest of the conference. And yeah, hope to see you one day. <laughs>